Well, I have a friend. Story by Miriam Cohen. Pictures by Lillian Hoven. When Pa was taking Jim to school for the first time, Jim said, Will I have a friend at school? I think you will, said Pa. And Pa smiled down at him. In the big schoolroom, Pat said, Goodbye. Jim didn't say anything. He didn't want to say goodbye. Come in, said the teacher. All the boys were making noises. All the girls were laughing. Where was his friend? The teacher said, here is Bill. He is a rocket man. Bill said, Brrr, as he rocked off. Ana Maria walked by. She was pulling a wagon filled with blocks. Jill looked at them. Ana Maria skipped away. Jim went over to a big table. There were lumps and humps of gray clay on it. The children were pulling and picking, poking and pattering the clay. They were making snakes, heels, holes, and a banana. Jim reached out and touched the clay. It was cold and wet. When he picked it up, it was heavy. Jill made a man, but he didn't know any friend to show him to. Now it was orange juice and cookie time. George said, I want to pass the cookies. Look, shouted Bill, I beat the moon. So did I, said Anna Marie. Jim thought of something to say. He said it to Joseph. But Joseph's mouth was full of cookies. He didn't answer. The pitcher was empty. Use time was over. Sarah was telling Margaret a secret. Jim looked at them. Where was his friend? Danny was shouting. Let's do funny tummies! Danny poked out his tummy and bumped Willie's. Willie bumped Sammy's. When they bumped, they laughed and yelled, Hello, Mr. Funny Tommy! And Jill laughed too. The teacher called, Come to story time! All the children came running. Jim sat next to Paul. The teacher read them a book about monkeys. Danny jumped up. I'm a monkey, he said. He pulled his tongue in his sleep and stuck his fingers in his ears. Jim thought he looked just like a monkey. The teacher said, it's time for monkeys to rest. They lay down on their mats. It was hard for them to lay still. Jim looked at the ceiling. He scratched his foot. Then he rolled over. Then he rolled back. Someone was looking at him. It was Paul. And he had something on his hand. When rest time was over, everyone got up. Look at what I have, said Paul. He showed Jim a tiny truck. Jim reached out and Paul put it in his hand. The doors really work, said Paul. I have a gas pump, said Jim. I'll bring it tomorrow. Anna Marie called. Jim, Paul, don't 
you want to play? Okay, Jim, asked Paul. Okay, said Jim. After school, skipping home, Jim said to Pa, Do you know what? I have a friend at school. I thought you were, said Pa, and Pa smiled down at him.